Let's kick this shit. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Zach with Straight Down the Middle and Flippin' Out Pinball and the Pinball Network. I've got my helper here today. Everybody say hello to Flippin' Out Fletcher. You gonna help us today, Fletch? Yeah, he's a man of many words. We've got a brand new game that we're gonna showcase and this little guy, the reason he's helping today is because he's really been itching. Ever since this came into the showroom to set up, he's really been wanting to play this, isn't that right? So tell everybody how old you are, Fletcher. Show them then if you can't talk. Five. Five years old. And do you like playing all these games in here? Yeah, what's your, tell them what your favorite game is out of all of them. That's pretty tough. Which one is it? Hmm. What do you think? I gotta insert like the Jeopardy music. What is it? Uh, which one? Turtles? He likes Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You play a lot of Big Buck Hunter too, don't you? Yeah. And he's been really itching to play this game. This is a brand new machine, brand new product uh, by Ice Arcade Home Games. This is really cool. You see it here, it's the, uh, the arcade edition of Jurassic Park. What's really neat about this new product is you guys have probably seen similar uh, arcade games at your favorite uh, family entertainment center or your favorite arcade. Well, this is cool because it's a little bit smaller so that it can fit inside your home, game room, uh, recreational space, your break room, what, whatever it may be. And it's a little bit cheaper too, and by a little bit I mean a lot cheaper. So the Raw Thrills version is the same version. Uh, Ice bought the assets for this to make a smaller version. Same game, same version, but just a little bit smaller. So Ice makes this the, uh, the commercial device, the bigger one by Raw Thrills, is up uh, $13,000, $14,000. It's a hefty price tag. Really cool though. This version is all the way down to like $8,000. So you say $5,000. It's cheaper than a lot of pinball machines out there. And if you've got the Jurassic Park pinball machine by Stern Pinball, it's kind of a good complimentary piece. So Fletcher and I are going to install this and, and unwrap it and whatnot. This came on a pallet, on a big pallet. You know what a pallet is? Do you really? Big piece of wood, right? Came on a pallet. What's really nice is it came pretty much as you see it here. Two pieces, that's it. They're screwed into the pallets. Uh, I'll show you some pictures on how to uninstall those screws so you can get them off. But each piece uh, by itself kind of goes through a, a standard door. Um, so we're gonna set this up. We're gonna play, are you ready to play this thing? You've been really looking forward to shooting some dinosaurs, aren't you? High five. Whoop All right, guys, let's, oh, first, you know what we need to do? We need to give away something. You wanna give away something? Absolutely. You guys that are watching here, all you've got to do is take this video and share it on social media. Whether you're sharing it on Instagram, Twitter, uh, you're sharing it on Facebook, you name it. My is MySpace a thing still? Huh? Is MySpace a thing? No. Um, share it. Once you share it, just take a pic, a snapshot, send it to Zach at flipinoutpinball.com. The email address there, down there. Uh, and then sh show that you're sharing it. And you can be randomly drawn to win one of these. Yeah, huh? Where, where'd you go? Oh. <laughs> this is a Stern Pinball Jurassic Park banner. Really nice vinyl banner to hang in your game room. These things are awesome and they're kind of hard to get. So you are eligible to win this. All you got to do is share this video. And for God's sakes, if you're ready to buy this beautiful thing and be the talk of your neighborhood, all you've got to do is what, Fletcher? What do they got to do? Where's your mom at? Nicole! What do they got to do? They got to call... Who are they got to call? Santa Claus? <laughs> they could call Santa Claus. He could get one for Christmas, couldn't he? Yeah. They could call me. Do you know my phone number? Oh, brother. You're not a marketing guy, huh? 812-457-9711 or go to the website flipinoutpinball.com. It's as easy as that and we'll get this thing shipped to you. Wait time on these 
is generally a couple weeks, but uh, if you're watching this current when it went live, then we have a couple in stock actually. So win this banner, buy this game, put a smile on your face, and a smile on Fletcher's <laughs> face, right? Tell him, I gotta go to college, buy a machine. Go ahead, tell him. Okay, so what you see here, Fletcher's ready to play, um, two pieces. And again, they ship like this, so it's super nice. You don't have to do, it doesn't look like a lot of assembly. So the only thing I noticed is uh, there's some, some stuff here. We're gonna pull this out and we're gonna see what's in this box. What do you think's in that box? I don't know. You don't know? What could it be? I don't know. Do you think there's a, um, a dinosaur in there? <laughs> could be. No. Ah. Let's show I, them what's in here. I see a red thing. And a back. Hey, you hold this. There's probably stuff in there. Stop it. Stop you stop. hold that. I got this. Okay. I got it. I got it. Oh, whoa. Oh, you know what this is? What the heck? Oh, I said, I gotta, I gotta show this to everybody. Here. This? is a topper. Oh. <laughs> we love toppers here in the mini home, don't we? What topper? Topper goes on top. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. They can't even see it. Oh well. Yeah. That's a cool topper. Yes. Oh, all this heavy stuff. Oh. Whoa. I'm not strong enough. I need your help. I'm sorry. Let's see if you can do it. Ready, when I say three, one, two, three, pull. Whoa, see, I told you I needed your help. Oh! Whoa! The box. Oh, not box. Right. Oh, I think. Is there anything else in there? Yeah. There's still something else. <laughs> ah! Uh, I can't pull it by myself. One, two, three. Oh, you got it! Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. I don't know what this thing is. All right, you take that box out of the way for me. Nicely done. Bye. You guys, this little guy here, Fletch, has just been, he's been my arcade and pinball buddy for the last couple of years, haven't you? He just loves arcade and pinball. You play it more than anybody, don't you? Yeah. Whoa. Put that in that box. I can tell what this is, Fletcher. You want to know why? I can tell because it has wiring underneath it. Oh. What this does... This is going to be our, our baseboard, our footboard, if you will, and it's going to connect the two machines on, uh, on the ground. And then with these Molex connectors here, you guys will see them in a minute, we're going to connect the front electronics uh, to the back electronics. So that's what this is for. Not too bad. All right, Fletcher, this says Jurassic Park Hardware. I don't know if these people can see, uh, but you said you can open this. We'll see it. What are you knocking on grandma's door? We'll see it. I was wanting the run time to be about a half an hour on this video. Yeah. This is actually how a lot of people try to work on their pinball machines. Yeah. We'll see if we can, if we can hit it open. I don't know if that'd be the smartest. Whoa! All right, now hands back. I'm gonna use our knife. <laughs> you don't have to walk away. Ah. Always safety first, right? With not Jurassic Park cabinet setup guide. So these are our instructions. This one. Ah. This one. I like what you did there. What? What is this? What is this thing? A wire. A wire. I guess that's a lot of wire. This is for the power. This is what plugs into the wall. What? It's all kinds of tools. Yeah, and I like how it's labeled. That's... I can't open that next one. Okay, let's see it. Oh, that's nice. See, they label it. Show the people. Oh, yeah. It's labeled in there. It shows you exactly what to use each hardware piece on. Now, when we've made uh, tables and stuff for Mommy, there's usually more hardware than this. So I think we can knock this out pretty easy. Yeah. Looks like there's an Allen's wrench, some washers, two separate uh, specialized screws, and it's going to be a cinch. Knuckles, we got this. Leave me hanging. Knuckles, no? 
So this will be a nice reference tool. That way, if I ever need to disassemble a gun unit uh, or any of the or any of the cabinet stuff, using that Molex, we get that oriented correctly. That foot panel, and then after that, we're going to secure it with some bolts. We'll show you that now. Okay, Fletcher, why don't you slide me that? Slide it in for me. All right. <laughs> The other cool thing I forgot to tell you guys about the Escalera that we were showing at the beginning, that hand truck. The nice thing is that these two pieces by themselves, uh, that belt will wrap, the standard belt will wrap around each of these pieces without the need for that extended arcade strap. So it's another nice piece. All right. So now, do you see these holes? One, two, three, four, five, six. We are going to use those six that you counted out already and those washers and we're going to mount those. Go ahead and plug it in. Nicely done. High five. So we got the front one. What about this back one? We got to get the back one too. We're going to put this up top there. Mount these through three screws. Why don't you give me those screws, bud? Give me one washer and one screw. And then once we get those mounted, we'll slide this into place and get these other three. Like this in We're going to do these. We got to line them up first. You're doing a great job. All right, Fletcher secured all six bolts onto the floor panel. Now we're gonna put the roof panel on. Again, super simple. We're gonna take six of those same bolts with the washers. We're gonna put three here and then three on the back there, all right? And then this flat end, you see this big flat end here? This goes to the front. Uh, the rounded end goes to the back. Now we're gonna attach the top. All right, let's go over here. Grab your wrench. There you go. Got it? That's okay. We're gonna come over here. I got you. Tighten that one. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> it's easy. Easy for you to say. <laughs> your mom is gonna kill me when she sees this. Why? <laughs> he said, why? She's gonna think this is not very safe. All right, so while Fletcher's up there, I've, I've already looked at the instructions on what to do next. Next, we're going to assemble our topper. So the topper, that's what those two specialty screws were for, so we're going to do that now. Fletcher, you want to install the topper? Where's your tool at? I don't know. What? Where'd you put the tool? I don't know. You don't know where the tool went? Where'd the wrench go? You know, they call me the topper king, Fletcher. I guess that makes you the topper prince. Is that what that makes you? You're the topper king? Yeah. And what am I? That's all for down. That's all for, I'm nothing, huh? That's all for down. Right. I love that they included a topper on this game. It's just visually very impactful. For those of you with like super short ceilings, uh, maybe you won't have to install that topper. There's plenty of cool places you can put it in your game room. I never but see a topper. For reference, I don't think it's much more than it's probably shorter than a pinball topper on a machine. I guess about 93 inches with the topper. And then if you guys want to know the dimensions, whether it's going to fit in your place. It's a little over 67 inches long and it's only 43, 43 and a half inches wide. So it takes up less space than two pinball machines with reference to uh, width and it's probably very similar to length as well all right fletcher we're almost finished we've got the power cord here you see where uh that plugs in at? it's just like big buck hunter and then you've got one switch here to turn it on now i wanted to show these people uh what's inside here okay you got four screws here just like you do on everything else so whenever we first unpalleted this game it's going to be sitting, like I said, each individual piece on one pallet, and there's going to be two bolts on one of the sides, two bolts on the floor on the other side. It bolts to the pallet so that it stays secure. It's a really nice way to ship it, so I think it's a good idea. But when you get yours and you start unwrapping it to, uh, to get those two pieces separate, you're going to go into this back panel first. That's where those two bolts, uh, for shipping purposes, are going to reside. Mall back. Mall back. So where these bolts are, 
Let's see if I can find them. There's one. That's where the bolt was in, right there. See that hole? And then over here, there's number two. So you just take those out. Cool. Oh boy, look who's coming, Fletcher. Mama's home. <laughs> really home. <laughs> all right, Fletcher, we got it all hooked up. You ready to play this? We're going to turn it on to show people how to set it all up and remind people what do they have to do to win that banner. All they got to do is share this video. <laughs> it's pretty simple, right? A couple clicks. If you knew what you were doing, would you share the video? funny Whoa. before we show you guys diagnostics I was wanting to show you a cool little feature because this is a oh <laughs> because this is a home version or a non-commercial device they put the settings right here which is really nice they have a power setting a select a plus and a minus. It's also a test and a step. And the manual I thought was really nice too because it also shows you uh, schematics on how all of these mechanisms work. That way if you ever need to do any repair that it's all right there. So let's go through diagnostics. Hold button for test menu. Okay cool. So then you've got all of this gun. So diagnostics, switch test, sound tests, light test, watchdog test. So do we want the track sound to come on? In the home setting, I'm gonna do never for that one. Oh, so you can set the difficulty on here too, that's neat. Cool. Average time per credit, hide human deaths, system adjustments. So it's very similar to a pinball machine. You get the serial number, uh, vibration guns, dual solenoid, rumble on, all that's on, set venue, set location. Set date and time. Select a level. Whoa. Level one. All right, who do we want to go to? Do we want to go to T-Rex, Triceratops, Spinosaurus? Yeah, where am I? Where am I at? Well, I'm gonna pick. Which one do we want? Uh, I want... Triceratops one? Yeah. Cliffs of Thunder. Whoa. <laughs> that was <laughs> awesome. Oh, wow. oh, you're in too, I think. Whoa, shoot everywhere. Whoa, wait, wait, get it. Oh, get that thing. Got it. Whoa, you got frostbite. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. Get that. Oh, shoot targets. Ready? Got it. Got it. Perfect. Oh, now I got the Titan shot. We're missing. We're missing. Oh. Get the guys that were trying to get the Triceratops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get them. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Whoa. Wait for it. I think to see these grenades, I think that's what the front thing is. Yeah, that's what the grenades are. Uh, we're going down, Fletcher. We're going down. Oh. We crashed. Did we lose? Oh, no. Wait. Shh. You don't want to attract them. Get up. All right, guys, remember. If you guys are looking to add this to your break room or to your game room, who wouldn't want to leave a smile on this kid's face? Contact Flippin' Out Pebble. And win the... Oh! This is a super blast. And win that banner by sharing this video. I died. I died. Watch <laughs> other straight down the middle videos as well as Flippin' Out Pinball videos. 
thanks for watching. I'm going to give you a, a, a fly through on what this machine looks like. 812-457-9711. Peace out. Tell him bye, Fletcher. Bye. <laughs> He's in it, man. He's in it. I'm gonna do this. How about that? Does that work? No? That doesn't work? No. No? No. I'm gonna talk like this. No. no. With you like this. No. Hey, everybody. No. It's me. No. <laughs> Fletcher. No. Put your hands right here, your hands by your side, or your hands in your pocket. I got a butt pocket. Yeah. <laughs> you got a butt pocket?